uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders, apostles, great men, thumb, preaching his word, truth and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truth and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word, truth and sincerely. And once again, I want to say uh, shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truth and sincerely. And I say uh, shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a quick uh, sit down lesson, and I hope it be edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And this is a, a quick sit down lesson that I'm about to bring out on this March the 8th, 2022, on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. And the title of this quick sit down lesson is going to be uh, This is. Uh, the signs of the times in the year of 2022 and this is the book of Matthews I mean 2nd Timothy Salakia uh, this is also knowing in the last days perilous times should come right because you know you know these are the signs of the uh, times of uh, perilous times should come and you know we are seeing it right in front of our eyes of these many different signs that surround the world you know with the uh, upwards of the people nations should rise against nations and kingdom against kingdoms uh the scratch of nations i believe that's in the book of uh, luke chapter 21 verse 25 i believe i roughly paraphrase and you know we are seeing so many signs around the world you know and it's gonna definitely increase because you know this been the year of uh uh the year of 2022 so far of the signs of the times you know this where yeah how washim al shot been turning up you know especially throughout the whole month of january you know throughout the whole month of february now in march you, you, you know, they already call this March Madness, you know, even though <laughs> it's kind of like a uh, basketball tournament every month. You know, now we in March Madness. Hey, you never know, during these next couple of uh, weeks in the, Mar in the month of March, might be some March Madness prophecies heating up, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm going to go to the uh, scripture. In regards to the uh, signs of the times of uh, the year of 2022 so far, which is uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Tashai, is gonna constantly turn up, uh, turn up things, turn up a lot of things on this planet Earth, and it, we've been seeing it so far, and there's gonna be more signs of it as well too. Okay. I got the scriptures of the KGV. Right, here go one right here, and this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse six. Even so, the times also the highest have planned beginnings and wonders, and powerful works and ending and effects and signs. Right, and we are been seeing that, you know. You know, we've been seeing the, we've been seeing the works of doings of the Yahushua Mashiach, especially like you know the Lord of Hosts visiting this world with a. Uh, storms, uh, flames of iron and fire, you know, been earthquakes, and tornadoes, and these heavy storms, and these record-breaking, uh, record-breaking floodings, you know, you know, and we've been doing the works of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, Lord, whatever he been continuing to bless us, 
you know, with his works of us, you know, uh, continue to be with us, being in this truth, you know, faithfully and sincerely. You know, he been helping us push us through, you know, with these uh, comfort of these scriptures, you know, the comfort of the uh, elders, apostles, great millstone, uh, the heavenly father that set up with his works of these things, you know, from, a, you know, definitely from a, a powerful spiritual sense, you know, the heavenly father's uh, great works and great wonders and his signs of showing that. As I just read in the book of uh, Second Address 9 and verse 6, you know. And I'm going to bring out, uh, see if I bring out some more scriptures that pertains to the uh, signs of the times. I'm going to go back right quick. And this is uh, Salakia for a second. Right, and this is the book of Second Timothy, chapter three, verse one, and it reads, "This is knowing also that in the last days perilous times should come." Right, we're seeing the uh, perilous times coming as well too, and we're seeing it right before our eyes. You know, we're definitely in the beginning stages of uh, perilous times, just like the beginning of sorrows. You know, we're gonna see many different signs on the good. Uh, you're going to see signs on a positive direction. You're going to see uh, signs of perilous times. That is well, too, because the Heavenly Father, he's a just balance. And you're going to see uh, more of increase of the signs of the times that we are currently heading into, you know. In verse 2 in the book of Second Timothy, for men shall be lovers of their selves, owners, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemies, disobedient, parents, unthankful, unholy, without national affection, truth, breakers, false accusers, and uncontent, fears, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than the love of Yahweh thy power. Having the form of goodness, but denying the power thereof from such turn for way. Right. This I, I brought out those scriptures of in the book of Second Timothy. You're gonna see all these things that was just listed. I was just reading the scriptures. You know. You're gonna people. You're gonna have people that's gonna have lovers of their selves, the men, women, and children. You know. Disobedience of parents. You're gonna see that continuing in the last days. You're gonna see signs of that. So you're going to see many different signs of everything in these last days. You know, you're going to see signs of uh, economics, of uh, what the currently what we're seeing right now with the Dow Jones crash and the S&P 500, you know, the index and all that. And with the current gas prices going up, the hyperinflation, you know, the wars and rumors of wars, uh, complexity of the nations perplexity of the nations in the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 25 I believe rough paraphrase so you're going to see signs in the heavens and the moons and the stars and everything like that you're going to see signs of chariot sightings you know we're starting to see that more often now throughout the whole planet earth so you're going to see many different signs you've never seen before you know I mean it's going to be beautiful to see these things, you know, in these last days, because, you know, these are the uh, signs of the times of the year 2022, you know, because, you know, this been the year of uh, 20, you know, this been the year of uh, 2022 of Yahweh Bashim El Shai is turning up, just like the uh, beloved elder Apostle Tahar made that uh, statement, you know. Of uh, the year of your house, Bashim Al Shah is gonna turn up, and once he made that statement, man, it's gonna—it's been nothing but uh, prophecies being fulfilled, you know. And there's gonna be more upcoming prophecies being fulfilled as well, too, with the uh, all-out uh, digital currency, when the uh, paper dollar be no more in use, you know. There's gonna be that hour of temptation, either you down with this. Uh, this new uh, upcoming modern day uh, technology
currency, which is all that information is going to be implemented in your body, where you got to buy or sell, you know, just to have food, water, supplies, and everything like that, or have a, a job, or be able to see the doctor or whatever, you know, get checkups and everything like that, because you're going to have all that stuff. Check in, check in, job in and out, you know, or at the stores or the theaters or work out. Anything that what you do on your day to day, everyday lives, you know, to keep you active and making a living for you and your uh, family, you know, your household. You know, you're gonna have to take that uh, digital currency. You're gonna have that implemented in your body, and that's that MOTB. You know that karate. Either you down with that, just to maintain to be part of this society. Once that all out digital currency come to pass, because you know these are the signs of the times that we are living in, and there's gonna be more upcoming signs as well too. With the nations going against each other, the kingdom, different kingdoms going against one another. You see increases of that. You're seeing the increase of the wars and rumors of wars, and the wars and rumors of wars becoming a reality and a rumor as well too. You're going, to, you're going to see more of an increase of a lot of uh, things to come in these uh, current signs of the times that we are living in in the year 2022, you know. So with that, uh, I hope this uh, sit-down quick lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hawaii Abisha. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Barakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. Uh, shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, uh, preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, before I uh, close out the sit down lesson on this March 8th, 2022, uh, on this Tuesday afternoon, and like I mentioned before, of this title of this lesson that I did for this quick sit down lesson of, uh, you know, this, uh, the signs of the times in the year 2022, you're going to see more of increase of the signs of the times that we are currently living in. You're going to see more major events in these current signs of the times that we are living in in the year 2022 as Yahweh Bashim al Shah is turning up on things. So with that, I will say Shalom.